What's up, Summit Nation? All right, I'm going to share with you now the Father's Day tributes that we showed yesterday in the Sunday celebration. Enjoy! My favorite dad funny is when he came back from work and I seen he had my cheer jacket on because I oh I always order them in a large. Mm. My favorite dadism is when he calls me the Amazon because he knows he raised a really strong daughter. A favorite memory I have of my dad is when we're working out and competing on bench press. My favorite memories are laughing together with my dad. There's always a point where if you tell a joke and you hit him at just the right moment, he'll double over in laughter and is like one of the most infectious things. My funniest memories of my dad are whenever we race and he gets close to beating me and seeing how excited he gets afterwards. One of my funny dad memories is when I was younger, I went home and told my parents that some kids was picking on me and I was going to have to fight them. And you know, my dad signed me up for Taekwondo classes to make sure I knew how to properly defend myself. One, two, three, happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day. Best dad in the world. to the Notre Dame game and going to the beach. Some of the things my dad always says is that he's going to the gas station. Um, my dad always rocks his uh, work uniform and you'll never see my dad without his Nike sweatshirt on. Happy Father's Day, Dad, I love you. Uh, this message is for Gary Regich, my grandpa. Just grateful for you know the times that we had and shared and are going to continue to share. Um, started as a kid, you know whether it be taking me in you know, on the weekends or going to play like one on one at the park. Um, he probably didn't know at the time like how much you know stuff like that you know would impact me and um, have an effect on me to this day, but. Truly blessed for just moments like that. And uh, blessed with somebody who always is full of knowledge and uh, full of wisdom and just always willing to share and instill um, good things into me. And it started early on and uh, it's still going on today. So just grateful and uh, truly blessed to have a grandpa like you, G. Love you. Hello, my name is Lachelle, and I am the oldest daughter of Glenn Cornelius Keller. Hi, my name is Jalen, and I'm the granddaughter of Mr. Glenn Keller. And we just came on here to say, Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day! Happy Father's Day, Dad, not only today, but every day. I just want to thank you for being a great dad to me, and then also being a wonderful dad, grandfather to my lovely daughters. The one memorable... Um, um, saying that we have of you is you would tell the girls to say granddaddy got it going on that's right <laughs> granddaddy got it going on so we just come to say happy father's day dad we love you and always remember what granddaddy, granddaddy got, got it going, going on. on happy father's day <laughs> Hello, my name is Sharice Flores and my father is James Cole. I just wanted to give a quick shout out and a very happy Father's Day to one of the best fathers I could have asked for. Actually, one of the funniest fathers I could have asked for. What, I, what do I mean by that? Just the random calls that even when I'm busy and he'll just call and say something goofy or be like, no, no, no. I still don't even know what that means, but it, it lightens the mood, so I'll take it any day. I wanted to say how great he has been, how he has motivated me and pushed me in life. And if it wasn't for him, I highly doubt that I would be where I am today in my life. So happy Father's Day. Thank you for everything that you do. And I'm wishing you many, many more Father's Days here with me. Love you. Good morning, Summit Church, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there in the congregation, especially my dad. Steve Grigsby. Dad, thanks for always being there for me and supporting me and encouraging me. I love you very much. 
And our entire family loves and appreciates you very much. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Hello, everybody, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Um, a dadism or something my dad used to always say to me was, um, there's nothing you can do to make me love you less. Um, growing up, um, when I was a child getting in trouble or if I hurt someone or just said something bad, um, when my dad would talk to me or discipline me, something that he would always say was, there's nothing you could do to make me love you less. And as I grew up, that's something that I could apply always, something that I use towards my son. And it's also something that helped build the foundation of my relationship with God, learning unconditional love from someone and being able to know that I always have someone to lean on and always have someone I can talk to and go to no matter what, someone that's always going to have my back. And that's what my father has always been. And that phrase is something that has always stuck with me and something I apply to my everyday, everyday walk with life, with God and with fatherhood. Nothing you can do to make me love you less. That's something that he taught me. Thank you. Something dad always has on, or like you won't catch him without, I'm gonna give y'all like a starter pack. So first, panda dunks, that's first. Glasses, like collared or long sleeve shirts. I don't know why. Jeans, jeans in general, weird option, but okay. And um, excessive amount of gum, like unhealthy amounts of gum. I don't know why, but yeah. Good. All right, so some of dad's isms, or one of one of the main ones really, is that he's selectively cheap. Not like as a broad thing, but like in the weirdest of areas. Like he has this obsession with turning off lights. I remember we used to laugh like hysterically because he would get visibly upset if you would leave a room even for like five seconds and leave the lights on. It would be the funniest thing, so yeah. Hi guys, my name is Jared Gilbert. My dad is Ronald Gilbert, and I'm here just to express gratitude and love and appreciation for all he's done for me. I mean, the list is endless, as I'm sure most people's are, but uh, all the times I've lost my keys for not <laughs> kicking me out <laughs> for when I tried to cut through six feet of grass with a walking lawnmower, and you came in and saved the day. Um, the time when they called me a liar in T-ball, and you stood up and said, that's my son. He's not lying. He caught that ball. For all the memories, all the things you've done, the list goes on and on. I love you. I'm Judy. I am Ernest's Barnett, oldest daughter out of six kids. Out of the six of us, I would say I am my father's ch child. Um, if I have had to have handpicked my father, I would have picked, chose the same father over and over again. He is the best dad ever. Um, do I love his corny jokes? Yes, I love his corny jokes. Uh, sometimes we, we try to see who's going to tell the joke first, him or me. Um, he loves MCL. He loves spending time with family. And if I have to say something, he's the most encouraging person that I know. Sometimes I call to lift him up and he always ends up lifting me up. Um, also, the thing I love most about my dad is he never passes up an opportunity to share the word of God with you. Anytime he sees anyone, the first thing sometimes I hear him say is, you know, God loves you and you are blessed. But God wants to bless you more. And, and the one thing, the other thing I always um, keep in mind, he always tells me to be careful what you say, because the tongue is a powerful thing. And I carry that on with my own grandkids. And I thank you, Daddy, for everything that you have done for our family. I think my dad's a really good dad, both mentally and physically because he's just a really good role model and he's teaching us how to be good dads someday. I think my dad, like, he has such a good sense of humor and he says so many things that just help us in the long road. Happy Father's Day, love you dad. And I still need that win. 
when you beat me when I was in sixth grade and you won't play me no more because you scared and you old and you got old kneecaps. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, happy Father's Day. I love you very much. Uh, when are we going to go skating? Yeah. You're waiting on it. Right. That's what happened when you old. I got my skates in the car. Let's right. go do this. Mm-hmm. We need our rematch. Let's go. Peace. Hey, Pop. What's up, Pop? Funny memory. Uh, the most recent memory that we got was when uh, you thought somebody was trying to break into the to mom's car or your car, and uh, you saw yourself on camera, but you thought it was somebody else that was trying to break in there, and mom was like, it's you, and you was like, no, this, is a light, this dude's light-skinned. This ain't me. I'm not light-skinned. And she was like, yeah, it was, it's you because it's a night vision, but we was rolling because... You trying to call the cops <laughs> you, on yourself. Right, you trying to... Or shoot yourself. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Things that you always say. You always say, all right, dude. Or you always say, oh, okie dokie. Or you'll say, um, that'll work. Or get out my way. I got to get some Starbucks. <laughs> all right. One thing we'll never, that you always rocking. You always got on your hat, your glasses, uh, and your and your gym shoes. And then some sort of, you know, shirt. And, and Starbucks jeans. in your hand. Always Starbucks. Love you. You need to get treatment for that. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you, Pop. Happy Father's happy Day. Happy Father's Day. Hi, Dad. I'm here to wish you a very happy Father's Day on behalf of all of your kids, grandkids, grand dogs, grand plants. Um, I just wanted to tell you how much we love you and appreciate your drive, your dedication, your passion. There is no one on this planet more passionate than you are when it comes to your family, your church, your bike, your car, your cappuccinos, pickleball, this new adventure that you're on with pickleball. I cannot wait to come support you at all of your tournaments the same way you showed up for all my golf tournaments and sat through endless dance recitals. I don't know if pickleball has cheerleaders, but they do now. And I can't wait to show up uh, for you the same way you show up for everyone in your life. So I'm just here to tell you happy Father's Day and that we love you. And we all know who your favorite child is. It's okay to admit it.